In your shareholder letter, you mentioned that the best investment results come from the companies that require minimum assets to conduct high margin businesses. In today's world, many of these companies tend to be software driven businesses. While Berkshire has avoided investing in high growth technology companies in the past, this appears to be slowly changing with your investments in Apple and Snowflake. As shareholders, should we expect that high margin businesses will begin to constitute a larger proportion of Berkshire's investment portfolio over time, particularly as Todd and Ted take on larger roles in the investment decision process? Well, we've always known that the dream business is the one that takes very little capital and grows a lot. And, and Apple and Google and Microsoft and Facebook are terrific examples of that. I mean, they're the, Apple has $37 billion in property, plant, and equipment. You know, Berkshire has $170 billion or something like that, and they're going to make a lot more money than we do. They're, they're in better business. It's a much better business than we have. And so in Microsoft's business, is a way better business than we have. Google's business is a way better business. Uh, so it, we've always looked... We, we've known that a long time. We found that out with C's Candy in 1972. I mean, C's Candy just doesn't require that much capital. It, it, it doesn't have... And, and, you know, it has, it has obviously a couple of manufacturing plants, they call them kitchens, and, uh, but it, 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 it doesn't have big, it doesn't have big inventories except very seasonally, very for a short period, it doesn't have a lot of receivables, so they're in very, you know, those are the kind of businesses, we, they're the best businesses, but they command the best prices too, and there aren't that many of them, and they don't always stay that way, so uh, we're looking for them all the time, and we've got it, we've got it. A few that are pretty darn good, but but uh, we don't have anything as big as the as the big guys. But that's what everybody's looking for. That, that's that's what capitalism is about: people getting a return on capital, <laughs> and and the way you get it is having something that doesn't take too much capital. I mean, if you have to really put out tons and tons of capital, utility business that way. It's not a it's not a super high return business. You just have to put out a lot of capital. You get a return on that capital, but but you don't get you don't get fabulous returns. You don't get Google-like returns, at, you know, or anything remotely close to it. Um, the, you know, we're proposing a re return in the in the uh, transaction with the, uh, the proposition with Texas. I think it's a 9.3 yeah, percent. 9.3. Yeah, and uh, you know that. But if you look at the return on most American businesses on net, net tangible assets, it's a lot higher than 9.3. But, but they aren't utility businesses either. 